Welcome to the EU Deal After Brexit show. I'm Phoebe Rubo, and this afternoon I will be receiving Charlotte Bombana to talk about the environmental in the EU after Brexit. Good Hello, afternoon. Hello, and thank you for receiving me. <laughs> it's a pleasure. So, just to start, uh, what are your thoughts um, about uh, UK in terms of environmental policy? So, in terms of history, do you believe that they are quite advanced or not? So the first thing I want to talk about is that uh, environment is a shared competence between the UK, the member states, and the, um, uh, the European Union. So the first thing we have to talk about is that in terms of environment, both um, European Union and UK are going to be um, legally competent to create acts. But historically, we can say that UK is not... Um, the perfect uh, student in terms of environment. It has for a long time been considered as um, the dirty man of Europe and is still now a little bit disinterested about um, environment. But still, they are making efforts and um, still now 80% of um, the laws in terms of environment in the UK are coming from the European institutions, which is a problem because now there is Brexit and um, it's going to be a mess uh, uh, because they want to become, in the future, uh, leaders in terms of environment. As has been saying Andrea Litson, who was the Minister of Environment in 2019. So let's hope for a greener future. Okay, fantastic. And do you think that there's a special tool to give uh, environmental policies at national level? And what about at EU level? What tools are there that exist? So at a European level, there is, of course, articles that permit to ensure the, uh, the practice of environmental laws, but not at a national level, which is also a problem. So there is the article two uh, 258 of the Treaty on the Functioning of the European Union, who permits to ensure uh, the the protection of environmental laws and policies. If not respected, the uh, Court of Justice of the European Union is able to sanction countries that are not, uh, member states, sorry, that are not respecting those policies. But what after Brexit is going to happen? That's the question. We don't actually know. Okay. And so, in that sense, uh, do you believe that a hard Brexit would have been a better solution than Brexit with a deal or not? Of course not. That, that is just my point of view, but of course I believe that having a deal, a common deal, is a better solution than having a hard Brexit, of course. Because hard Brexit, I remember for everyone, uh, I remind, sorry, for everyone, is, um, is uh, it doesn't permit, um, I mean, just uh, avoid having a deal and having common policies and having a great intent between the two parties. And with an art Brexit, it would have been impossible to just, you know, um, have common policies in the future. And it would have been hugely damaging, as I said, uh, Keir Starmer, because the only solution is to create a common deal that is going to act for a better future between the UK and the European Union. And so in that sense, do you think that the UK is handling the solution well? Um, I mean, for the moment, they are trying to just fill in the gaps that have been uh, created uh, since the Brexit. They are just trying to do better. They are just trying to reduce their emission, for example, that have been reducing their emission by 44%, I think. Um, that, that's, that's a reasonable amount. Yeah, 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 exactly. So that's great, and they may be playing a great role in the climate change in the future, but they are still a little bit, a little bit you know, struggling with that. Uh, yes, they are going to clean the gap, but how many times is it going to take? That is, once again, a good question. Um, uh, let's talk about uh, the 80% of directive coming from the European Union that are used now, still nowadays by the UK. That, yeah, 80%, that's a very yeah, big, that's, it's a that's a lot. So amount. how are they going to do? For the moment, uh, the, um, the issue is to find an act, a unique act, that is going to sum up every uh, kind of directive of regulation or, that was yeah, coming the legislation. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that were coming about uh, that were coming from the European Union to create them at national level. Okay, that's fantastic. Well and so then what do you think is the position of the EU uh, regarding Brexit? Uh, um, from the point of view of environmental law? I mean there is a long way to go still but 
I think that European Union is 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 okay in terms of environment in a sense they are uh, trying to achieve a goal of emission neutrality uh, in uh, 2050. Um, they are a proof that they are working for a better future once again, and there is a need to ensure contact between the uh, European Union and other parties to ensure a better environment in the future. And um, also, I think that it is important to, to say that there is areas in which UK was better than EU. Um, Chris Ilsen, who was, who is, sorry, a commentator in EU and UK environment policy, said that there is five areas in which um, UK was better than EU, and EU have still work to do in that matter. So it was climate change targets and ETC, common agriculture, agriculture policies, fishing, EPPC directive, and habitat directive. That's, a, that's yeah, a consequential. Yeah, that's too. A, yeah. And so what about now? What about now? So um, let's believe there is going to be an act mm -hmm. in the UK that is going to make them feel better about environment. And I feel like UK may be joining and cooperating with other countries uh, such as US. But let's remind that US is not a great country in terms of, in terms of environment since Absolutely Trump. Not have been withdrawing from the Paris Agreement in 2015, Absolutely. which is a huge, a huge mess. So we don't know, but let's hope for a good act that will, uh, that, that will create a strong laws in terms of environment at a, a national level. Yeah. Thank you very much. This was Charles Bourbonnais and Phoebe Rebo. Thank you.